Hey everybody, it's Aubrey Love, and I just got my December Ipsy bag. Um, my kid is also up, so if you hear her squealing, it's because she really, really wants the package. And possibly whatever bag is in there. She really does enjoy the makeup bags to chew on since she's teething and she cut another tooth, so she's not taking her naps. So I just wanted to forewarn you, if you hear squealing... Uh, I'm apologizing right now because I can't get her to, to go to sleep. So, let's find out what's going on inside these bags today. I got a black bag. Check that out. That's pretty cute. Looks like a little keychain. I, I might have to take that off. And uh, a card that is just basically saying happy holidays and we're thinking of you, blah, blah, blah. They send this stuff out to every girl. To me, it doesn't really feel very personalized, but they are cute. Here, you can have that. You want the card? Tear it up. So let's find out what's inside. Yeah. I'm going to just give the bag over to my kid because she's not going to stop hounding me for this until she gets it because she just loves these bags, I tell you. So we got a small tart. Um, this one says lights, lashes, and camera. I actually really like this company, Tarte. I have a few things from them, and I was quite impressed with their products uh, when I got them. Gee, I can't really quite recall what year that was. 2003? Been around for a while. Uh, another Pixie product. This one is a shimmery looking product. Fairy Dust Brightening Bear. B A R E. Let's see if I can get a. Tap, tap. Yeah. That's not really happening very well, is it? I'm trying. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, again, I think I've stated this in my previous video. If you're a woman over the age of 25, really start questioning shimmery products on your face because it actually ages you. It, it reveals wrinkles, sunspots, all that hoot nanny. And if you're trying to keep your youthful appearance, I don't know that this bad boy is really the type of stuff you want to go at. I, I have um, an Ipsy trading group on Facebook that I joined recently, and I'm trying to get rid of all that shimmery stuff and trade. If any of you ladies see this, please message me on there. I really am looking for anything else other than shimmery powdered products just because I'm I'm 31. Well, I don't need to be dressing like I'm going clubbing. I gave that up when I got prego. So I don't need it anymore. <laughs> this is a Cool Wave Boost Repair, the revolutionary hair repair serum. Blah, serum with amino lock MAB molecule. Huh. Well, I'm going to sniff it. Oh, it's sealed. <laughs> I can't sniff it. It's sealed. This is actually something I'd be happy to use, though. So you cleanse your hair with shampoo and rinse. Apply a generous amount, two to three tablespoons, depending on your hair length. I don't have long hair, so probably about a quarter, the size of a quarter for me, of boost repair on the palm and of your hand and work evenly throughout scalp and hair. Leave it in for four minutes, rinse off with warm water. So this is one of those like intense conditioner things then, because if you're going to rinse it out, that's what you do with conditioner. If you leave it in, I think more leave-in conditioner or um, hair oil. I have really frizzy hair since my pregnancy, like really frizzy hair, and I can't quite shake what it is but you know they always say after you're done being pregnant sometimes 
your hair changes. I have red hair coming out. You're probably wondering, well, what hair color do you have? I'm technically like a brunette, but a lighter shade brunette. And my mom's a redhead. Most of my family members are redhead, go figure. But since my pregnancy, I've been seeing patches of it around like my face. And I have to say, I think it's kind of a weird thing going on. I'm not really too fond of it because it looks weird having patchy red hair pieces. And my hair color grew out while pregnant, so I haven't dyed it yet, but now I'm tempted to. And I got a brush. Crease and shadow brush. And it's double-sided. Look how pretty that is. And then I have the other side right there. I'm always excited to get new brushes that I don't have to uh, pick myself. I mean, they think this is a good brush, then hooray! Because there's just so many out there, and it's always like um, a gamble if you're getting the right one. This is by Crown Brush. I've never heard of them before, but I'm excited to try. And then this is the NYX Butter Lip Balm. I got Lady Fingers, that's the name of this particular shade. And it's sealed, so I can't even open it up to sniff the smell. I, I know that sounds weird, but who wants to buy cosmetics that smell like chemicals and taste like wax? And not even good tasting wax, like that bitter stuff. I can't tell you how many times I got lip balms that looked really cute and pretty, and the color was nice, but it tasted awful and I never wore them again, which was kind of a waste of money. So that, ooh, let me slide that up so you all can see. This is what I got in my bag. I can't get, I can't show the card. She kind of chewed it up. She, and if I take it away from her, I'm going to hear her scream and protest. This is the bag that came with it. And so, um, I just want to mention what I have in my bag is not always going to be the same because you have to fill out a survey about yourself and based upon your survey you get different things so if you sign up through the link that I'll provide because it's a referral code you will have to fill out the same survey and no two surveys are alike you can also redo the survey as your lifestyle changes so that way your ipsy bag changes with you so there are going to be some women who probably got an eyelash curler or different hair care products or powder or a different brush you name it they don't all get the same stuff even nail polish some women get nail polish I have yet to get nail polish I would love to get nail polish particularly a good brand that doesn't do this because you know I I, uh, I have to hand wash my dishes and even though I use gloves those those dish gloves you get at the store those big yellow gawky things they don't keep the water out all the time. That sucks, because it's not looking at my nails. It's horrible. Horrible, I tell you. Although they're at least at the length that I want. They keep growing out, and I have to keep trimming them back. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching my little reveal. Um, if you want to find out more about my experience with these products, what I liked, what I didn't like, because I can't try them all right now. Obviously, I've got my... 11 months trying to get out the bag again. Here, let me give that back to her. Um, you know, message me on Facebook. What the heck? Message me on Facebook. Let me know if you had any questions about any of these products. This one I'm definitely trying to trade already. I will not keep it because it's shimmery and I don't need that. It's only going to define the wrinkles or or acne scarring that I might have but I'm definitely keeping these three and the brush so let me know if you see me on Facebook if you want to trade ask me about any of the stuff I'm probably gonna try this tonight I really hope it tames down the frizzy hair that I get and thank you for watching happy holidays Definitely check out this company for 10 bucks a month. You, you're going to get an awesome bag of random stuff customized for you. I don't think you can really beat that. And don't forget to check out my previous Ipsy reviews and candle reviews. If you're looking for holiday stuff still, you know, right now, last minute options are pretty limited. And if you don't like going to the mall like me, you shop online. 
unique gifts, definitely. Check out the videos. Let me know if you have any questions. And happy holidays.